all the posts have bulbs on them now. It looks nice. Love it. And see how the fireplace changes color at night. Oh, that's more daylight. It gets darker. Even radiates. Can you see that energy coming off there? On the patio doors. Darken and turn that beautiful purple at night. I love how the chair pops. And here's the new addition the door. Oh, it's too dark now. Oh, there it is. Zoom in on it a bit. And when it's closed, yeah, when the inside door is closed, I don't know if you can see it, but I have this door in the screen. It's awesome. I'm going to touch it up a bit tomorrow. I just love it. You see how dark it gets? That's awesome. And it goes blood red. It's wicked. I think it's gorgeous. Wait till the siding is put on. And it'll all be charcoal. It's gonna look nice. And the interior door, like, facing the inside, I just did blacked it out. So it doesn't affect the aesthetic inside. Even these could look great at twilight. So now, in this heat, they won't be roasting so much. And I get to look outside. I like the stones that go up. It's nice. There we go. Some over that way. The lightning is coming from the west. It's starting to get closer. Almost missed the sunset. Here's some more little projects that I've been working on. This had some problems with the wicker and I put some canvas on it with uh, no nails and some JB Weld at the very back to hold the canvas together to make sure it don't let go and put some diamonds on there and it's pretty nice. And she painted a birdhouse. I'm not finished yet. Just playing with colors, but it's pretty cute for now. A little detail there. Later, I'll add some uh, kind of tribally whimsical things on there. Yeah, hopefully the birds find it. But they've little finches have been around. I started uh, taking that brush pile 
and putting it in there. And it's just been so darn hot, it's hard to do. And there's the door. Today I gotta paint the bottom and put the top piece in. I keep raving about it because it's very cool. And should be able to get the bench put back together now that we found some pieces that will work and they're painted and ready to install. And this is the messy little workshop that I have the two things in now that it's up. <laughs> and I painted this. I think it'll make a great ashtray. Look, the roses are starting to come out. Made a couple the other day, but the hail made them fall. And added another touch to the house. I think it's very cute. Maybe it's a little Harley Quinn. Put up the little lamp. Ooh. And these beauties have started to come out. Flowers are beautiful. And then these ones, they just were there one day. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're so beautiful. I love the little splashes of color everywhere. You can all just use that for a door latch or a door pull on the screen door. Just give you a little paint. And I'll make that black. And we got the bench seat done. Doesn't that look lovely? With matching lattice crate coffee table or end tables. Fire pit matching flowers. And a little wood holder. It looks cute. <laughs> it turned out a little wider than the original, which is nice. Just a little more space between sitting. I'm pretty happy about that. It makes a nice little sitting area. <laughs> but I love cozy places. Anywhere cozy. Yay! And in all this heat, we could see that everything has grown a lot more. So we need to do some weeding. But we have beans happening. I don't know if you can see them. But the beans should be able to be eaten in a few days. So the star is coming up. Good thing I didn't pull it thinking it was weeds. And now we have buds and flowers. Oh, and I think these are pumpkins. And then there's some um, zucchini and eggplants in here and some spaghetti squash. Yay. So we'll be watering again, as usual. <laughs> so here's my night vision out of the workshop and so the new addition they put canvas on that and made it restored back to something beautiful a new little burrows I painted 
And tonight I moved some of the tomato plants and hopefully they're going to be okay. And gave them some hoop supports. And put a new ashtray. Oh, the door. <laughs> Look at the door. I have a screen door. Did it in that paint that turns blood red. Oh, I think I talked about that already in the previous video. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to use this video or the old footage. Um, here is the fire pit in the evening. And night watering. Oh, the lettuces are looking so beautiful. Oh, the romaine lettuce is starting to come up. And the purple ones are taking off. And finally, these guys at the very end are starting to grow significantly. I was starting to wonder if they were even going to grow. But, uh oh, these are gorgeous. Look at the colors. Lots of purple. And, uh, I really like how all the reminds are really looking healthy. I really like how the green, light green is in the middle. Especially with, um, fire pit and these colors and all the pumpkins are getting flowers on them happy and I love the fire pit you can take a look at the fire pit in the evening decided to use that thing as a little wood holder I don't know what it's for exactly but it seems to work pretty good as a wood holder. And uh, I didn't notice my supplies all piled under tarps. But I did notice that between the tarps is the new chair. And that's really nice. Because when all this is cleaned up, it's going to be nice walking through here on the path to that pretty sure or seeing from the driveway. I like the way that looks. This is when I'm walking up to the door of my house. Look at how that glows in the night. It looks very cool. This is very pretty now with the bench there. Love it. It's finally cooled down enough to wear a bathrobe again. <laughs> And I get to look at the window. It's raining. And the view is really pretty. And it's so nice that it's raining for the garden, finally. Yeah, here is my little view at the patio door. Happy weekend. And I can see a little bit of the lake. Usually right through there. Well, it's hardly raining today, but it sure is a nice change from this week. And I've already gotten in most of the brush moved. And the pile's gotten pretty big. And just like I suspected, um, we have a hornet's nest in here. <laughs> but they've already left, so it's just cool. Um, it could have been worse. I remember when my mom did brush, it reminded me that these kind of places, when they sit for a while, make perfect places for mice and squirrels and hornets. <laughs> yeah, they were buzzing around for a while. They seem to be gone now. It's, it's going to be a big load. <laughs> Uh, I put some side walls in there, posts, and um, I'll use a tarp and tie it down. Thank goodness we were able to borrow this because my truck couldn't hold this much brush. <laughs> okay, so now to take that to the bush brush pile. 
Let's uh, be keeping pile and then wheelbarrow too. I didn't videotape it, but there was a big heap of old rounds of wood here, and they were pretty rotten. So, after picking them up, I realized, hmm. So I beat the crap out of them, and this is the end result really nice for the soil. It'll turn into really nice compost. And kind of has that look of what people buy to put around all their flowers. And they just made it for free. I think it looks pretty nice. And this is what's left. some interesting pieces in there and some good burst bark for winter starting the fire yeah, I think it looks pretty lovely add some color probably look nice at night I should take some pictures at night we have one little rose coming out Just these little pieces add a little bit of character and points of interest. They may not stay, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, just to give it some texture and points of interest. Might be alright. I won't know until the trailer moves. And look at it from the cafe. See what it looks like from back here. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's kind of interesting have some vertical and horizontal things. Noticed some baby roses yesterday. So this will help so that we don't run over them with the lawnmower.
This flower is extraordinary. It's been looking like that since May or June. It just, it's beautiful. It just keeps staying vibrant and full. It's crazy. I guess that is the one good plant to have if you want color pop. But yeah, it's just, it's the weirdest plant in the world. It just never loses its little fluffy fuchsia petals. It just gets bushier or, yeah, or it just fills out, fills out and thins out. And I like these little tiny fuchsia spots in there. So I think I'll we'll hang that there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to film and hold that in place. So I moved it back and there we go. Oops. <laughs> the bit stayed in there. That happens a lot. Yay. That's going to be nice. It's a cute effect. I like it. <laughs> Looks pretty. Kind of like costume jewelry, hoop earrings, or bracelets. I guess I should finish that, huh? That's the thing about filming. It helps you get motivated and inspired to do more and get things done. So, the color I used around the frame was a little lighter. I want to go with this because it's all I got left. And that's going to make it great. I guess I should open the door and get on with it. Yeah, I don't get too picky. <laughs> I'm most concerned about keeping the cats in there. I open the door and they come flying out. I should have filmed it. It was hilarious. They're always looking for a way to break free. On the other day, they break, broke free and I had to find them, but actually they were pretty good. As soon as I called them, they came back. But Zephyr, um, he's a, a Zephyr, he has had experience when was at the resort escaping, and so he has a habit of going under the trailer, and it's hard to get him. Okay. Doesn't take long to finish this up, and we'll see the result. There, that's better. I like the imperfectly perfect. Nature teaches me that. Her imperfections are perfect. But even down here, I just painted up the Tyvek a bit. That'll all change later, just so the eye doesn't grab it and go, ooh. Oh, I see another spot where I need to fix it. But right down there, I see a white spot. But yeah, that's pretty nice. Oops. Oh yeah, there you can see the star. There it pops out. <sighs> I love that star. But sometimes it makes me think of rock star energy drinks. <laughs> and then when my paintbrush has paint left on it, ew, I try to find something that I can get rid of the paint on. So I'm going to paint these. Because they're all rusted. And that way get good use of paint. Surprising how much paint is left in the brush. And I don't want it to just go down the sink. Yeah, so from going from that to this effect that I wanted, I can't believe the leftover paint on the brush did all of these bulbs. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint this string. Probably will block it out over time. I'll just have them ready for when I want to implement them. And still paint to spare. <laughs> this is what I was going to paint. I just keep painting. Oh yeah, that looks way better. 
doesn't drive me crazy. When I walked in and see it unfinished. That was a last minute thing, just in, after putting the door up. It was like, oh, the mosquitoes. So we just grabbed anything and put it up there. And I got a few more art pieces the other day to put up in the office. Make it more cool. I like the red because it goes with the lavender. I'm thinking after this last week, I deserve a few hours of relaxation. <laughs> but it was worth it because I love the way it all looks. <laughs> And uh, that's a lot easier work than last summer. <laughs> I don't feel so whooped. And maybe I'll get to my hair <laughs> and makeup someday when the fall comes. And then I'll be spruced up again, just like everything else. <laughs> so I got this old door here that I really love. And I'm thinking I'm going to get some protective material and build a frame and put it outside to make a magic door. I think that'd be awesome. There's a focal point and a prop for filming. Yeah, so my mind never stops. I want to do this umbrella for up at the top there. And I found these cool toolboxes. I love collecting toolboxes. They might be turned into something neat, but I want to burnish them so they don't lose that cool patina. And I started painting these old things um make it look like a grunge candle in there and put fairy lights in and i purposely made it look like old and i get this old christmas tree stand and i need to find a pole to make cool like old fashioned uh, lights i painted this one too and the back has to be taken off but I think they'll make some nice touches in the yard. Hopefully I'll find some more. Yeah, so this week I'll be painting a patio door, black, and a French door that I bought last year black. And that'll go in between the two uh, buildings to adjust the heat and keep the cats in one side if necessary. And uh, yeah, the little patio door has better glass. So that should work better and it's smaller and not look so huge on the tiny house and the glass will keep the heat and cold out. Yeah, there's a lot of projects I'm working on, but it is going to be worth it. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day, maybe sit on a lounger. <laughs> we'll see.